friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is an intumescent cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 135 degree this is a side port on the right side of the main incision at around 8 o'clock and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision at around 2 o'clock. So the side ports are about 3 o'clock cards away from the main incision and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. A big air bubble is injected and then this is tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this white intumescent cataract. Care is taken so that the dye touches on all parts of the anterior capsule. Some adrenaline has been used and now the dye is thoroughly washed out. This is a practice which I always do cleaning of the dye and then use 2% SPMC to fill off the anterior chamber. The SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium also. In this case we can see that the eyeball is tilted to the right side. So it has been fixed with the uterata forceps so that it looks straight. Uh, anticapsule has been incised, a capsular tag has been raised, there is a C flap the C flap is rotated in such a way that it gets converted into a small rexus. We may call this a mini rexus. And now a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula is being used to remove some cortical matter. If this opening is just a can opener opening, we cannot do this maneuver with so much stress on the anterior capsule. See we are squeezing the lens, we are going inside the lens, we are tapping on the lens. Unless this is a mini axis, we cannot exert so much pressure on the anterior surface of the nucleus. And lot of cortical lens matter is coming out from behind as the lens is being rotated and the capsular bag is getting very nicely decompressed. So the intralenticular pressure has reduced drastically and, and now the mini rexis is to be enlarged to an adequate sized rexis. Small cut is made at the margin of this small rexis with a vana scissor the uterata forceps is taken again. The tag is healed. At this time, the care is taken to be at a certain distance away from the margin of the rexis so that the adequate sized rexis is a fairly round one. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. Some visco is injected. The exposed part of the FECO needle is more than necessary. So the sleeve is rotated and the exposed part of the FECO needle is reduced. And now the teeth goes bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now the handpiece is turned, the bevel is up, and now watch direct chop. The tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, holds the nucleus very firmly at the center, and the nucleus is chopped. This cataract is not very hard, it's a brittle nucleus 
nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3 and see how easily the nucleus is getting chopped this is because of the brittle nature of this nucleus so the nuclear pieces are being emulsified at this time ultrasonic energy is 60 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury so long at this time during the last phase the vacuum is reduced to 200 flow rate is reduced to 30 and this last piece is being emulsified so this is done and now this is some amount of 2% ASPMC again and this is the 23 gauze direct Simcoe cannula the cortex is getting nicely cleaned from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock through the main incision the antichamber is nicely formed and now I go through the left side port I remove some more cortex from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock but there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule which didn't come out by Simco so I'm using bimanual irrigation aspiration the irrigation is going through the right side port aspiration from the left and the cells from 10 o'clock 8 o'clock 9 o'clock are being removed we must always nurture the attitude to be meticulous and this should be an habit to be meticulous all the time so that the patients get beautiful vision and now a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the antechamber formed by irrigation the lens has gone into the capsular bag there is some visco which was there in the lumen of the cartis it is getting removed by irrigation the capsular bag is also irrigated and at this time we see some cortex at 6 o'clock somehow I missed this but once this is seen we must not leave it, we must remove this cortex. A bit of moxie is injected into the anterior chamber and then uh, the corneal stroma on either side of the side boards are hydrated so that these stab wounds get closed. Once this is done, a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and at this time the cortex that we have seen at 6 o'clock is removed yes and now the antechamber is very uh, nicely cleaned the antechamber is nicely formed and in this case I am injecting a bit of moxifloxacin through the main incision as the last step. The antechamber is nicely formed, intraocular pressure is normal, all the side ports are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.